Well, let's go out here and look and see what it's going to take to... I think I got an OEM style front plate bracket holder off Amazon and everybody was a little backed up with getting it out. It took almost three weeks, three and a half weeks to get this thing, so or maybe even closer to four weeks. I'll go out there and see if this will actually bolt up to the car because the other one's lazy and I think it's broken. This is the old one. The top of it's all cracked. So, <clears throat> it's not even in anymore. Looks like the bolt was too short to begin with. So I'm going to get all this pulled off here and get the new one put on. Just left all my tools at work. Because I didn't know this was going to come in. So, I'm just going to try to find some random stuff around the house to use. My girlfriend's mother's gardening tools and tools that she's acquired over the years. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I gotta get the front and rear bumper on this car. Replace it's like my main cosmetic eyesore on the outside. This was a uh, long distance traveling car. That's what they use this car for. Before I bought it, it was never like a car to like they they would take super good care of or anything like that. It was just always their their vehicle to go back and forth from here to California. And this was the vehicle that they used to put. They put a little like class 2 hitch on it and would put the bicycles on the back and they would bang into the bumper and beat the paint up on the bumper and crack the bumper all the time and you could see the pitting from it being on the highway all the time the paint missing but everywhere else on the car looks fairly good overall there we go now i gotta clean all this up and go get some go get another set of these self these self tappers Let's see what we got going on here or these more of a plastic style screw so let me get all this cleaned up and then we can see what it's going to take to get this new this new one mounted well now that i've got it all cleaned up and washed down with some degreaser and uh just a light wet rag i'm going to go ahead and install everything now it does seem to fit very good. The second rib in. And if you look, it molds to the body just like it's supposed to. Hold and everything line up. So it looks like it's going to be a win win with this Amazon front license plate OEM remanufactured or, I don't know, replica. 20, it was 21 bucks for it. Well, it ended up fitting really, really nice, actually. I'm going to have to go get some new screws. I'm going to pull that rusted one out of there and go get a set of new license plate screws. But I got them at work, so I'm not worried about it right now. I'm not going to go buy a set because I got them for free at work. We put all the used cars and stuff out, put new plate brackets on them and new ones. Fits perfect. Snug as a bug in a rug. I like it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do, like, thumbnail I don't want, I don't care if you guys see or people that watch this see the plate. I just don't want it in the thumbnail. Okay, pretty easy, cheap fix. This out with the old cracked one and with the new identical to the OEM one that came on the car. I like it. Be blessed, guys. I was going to wait, but I can't wait. I just went ahead and went, got the screws. Now, I don't feel right starting something and not finishing it. By the time I made this first part of the video and walked back in the house, I was like, you really going to leave this incomplete today? Even though I have the screws and everything back at work, no problem. I just went out four minutes from the house and spent the three bucks just to get it done. Because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get home tomorrow. I'm going to make excuses or get to work. And I'm like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Next thing you know, screw comes out or plate comes off or whatever it is. So I said, screw it. Just let's go get it and finish it. So let's go back home and put the other two screws in well it's installed 
we got all four bolts put in nicer than that nasty rust bolt that I temporarily put back in there to go to the parts store and come back but the parts kit that I used was uh was from Dorman and it's got four of the plastic inserts if you want to cut your own holes but there was already holes in the plastic here the part number from Dorman is 785104D and it was like $3.18 at AutoZone on those little spinny shelves where the hardware is at and it's uh, finished it fits real nice so yeah turned out great thanks guys be blessed